Hi guys, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the Amazon um, import plugin to import products into your premium press website. Now the Amazon plugin we're going to use here is for the responsive framework, so you'll need to ensure that you've got a responsive frame, uh, framework uh, theme installed. Um, what I recommend obviously is a shopping cart theme because it's set up really um, specifically for the Amazon um, item, but the plugin will still work for any of the uh, responsive framework um, themes that we have. Okay, so in front of me we have the shopping cart theme, so we're going to go ahead now um, and import the plugin. Now to start with I've removed all of the products from the theme already, so we've got a blank shopping cart website um, just for the demo purposes. So if I log into the admin area and under the left hand tool options for the theme options, we've got this extra plugins. So we simply click on extra plugins and now we're going to find the Amazon um, import tool. So under this import tools tab we simply click on it. And if we scroll down to the bottom, you'll find the Amazon Import Tool just here. So we click the title, it'll open a new window, and if we click on the Install Now option at the top right, we can go ahead and get started with the Amazon Import. There we go, if we activate the new plugin. Okay, there we go. So if we click on the Theme Options again, you'll now notice at the bottom of the Theme Options is a new tab here called Amazon Import. And this is where you're going to perform all of the imports um, using the Amazon API. So before we get started, the first thing you need to do is set up an affiliate and developer account for Amazon. Um, they've separated everything. Basically, the developer account lets you use the import tool, lets you use their uh, um, API to import products. And the affiliate account will simply um, allow you to ensure you get an affiliate commission from any of the items you sell or refer to users to sell. So you simply click on the green button here. Uh, if I click on either one, one will take me to the affiliate one and one will take me to the developer one. Uh, then we go ahead and create an account with Amazon and both of them are free so make sure you're not paying for anything um, and then once you've got your details simply enter them into the corresponding boxes. Okay, um, while I'm here at the moment we have uh, an auto update option as well and this will update the prices every 24 hours and what this does is when a user clicks on a product um, a timestamp is checked uh, and if it's exceeding a 24 hour period then the prices will be updated for that product that the user is viewing. And also you've got the option to show Amazon comments and this will add the Amazon import um, link comments to your, um, your website comments box. So if we add some products I'll show you how that works. So okay we've entered our details now we're going to start importing some products into our website. So let me give you a quick overview of some of the options. We've got the basic search options here at the top and a few more of the advanced search options at the bottom. So the basic options are keyword category and an order by and a start page. So the keywords, for example, if I'm going to be importing a laptop, I'll just type in a laptop, a category. Now Amazon only allow you to view four pages of results if you're going to use the all categories research. So make sure if you are trying to import a larger amount of products that you use a corresponding category that's more related to the, uh, the keyword you're importing. So in this case, I'm going to be importing a laptop. So I'm going to scroll down and probably select the electronics category. That way then I can um, view more than four pages of results. Okay, we have an order by. So we can price, etc, etc. I'm just going to do that. Um, price highest to lowest. Yeah, I'll do that for now. Got a start page. Now obviously if you've imported before from the first page and you want to start on page two, that's what this is here for. Um, Amazon will give you only a maximum of ten pages. So make sure you select one that's corresponding to uh, a page you've not already viewed. Okay, and you scroll down, we've got price options here, you can set price, condition, you can choose the Amazon store you've got, and we've got most of them listed, all the way from India, China, Spain, Italy, Japan, etc. Obviously the UK and the US and Canada are in there as well. Now we've got a brand option, so you can set a brand, and the browse node as well, and if you click the link here, you can view, view all the browse nodes available for Amazon. And the browse node is basically a category option at the top, but a more specific category option. So it's more for those um, looking for specific items from a specific category. And obviously the default save category. And this corresponds to your own website. So this is where the items that you add um, and find will be saved into your um, shopping cart website. Okay, so we'll do a quick search then. So we've got laptop in electronics and we're going to sort by highest to lowest. So we click on start import. Okay, there we go. We've got um, quite a lot of results here. We've got plenty of uh, um, laptop um, options. As you can see now, um, what's happened is the results are finding the word laptop in any of the items within the Amazon category, um, electronics. So obviously not all of these will be related specifically to obviously what the items I'm looking for. 
So if I'm going to look for a specific laptop, then I might want to be a bit more specific with my search query. But in this case, obviously, it's found laptop in quite a few of the titles. So we've got laptop batteries, as well as laptops themselves. We've got monitors, etc., etc. So it's a good idea if we wanted to um, cut them down a little bit more to use the advanced search tools here to find more specific results. Um, or use the brand option if you know the brand, or you can use a keyword that's more related um, to the search results. But I'm going to go back to my search results uh, and just import a product to show you how it works. Okay, so if I, if I use this one as an example, um, and I just click um, save, what that will do, it will save it to my website. So if I go to my website, give it a refresh. Okay, I can scroll down. I can see now that it's obviously added this new laptop to my website. And if I do a quick search as well, you can see there it's in the search results as well. So I would simply click on it to view the product. And as you can see, we have the actual product here, the product price. The add to cart button will take the user directly to the Amazon website uh, with your affiliate link. Uh, we have all of the images obviously imported from Amazon and the Amazon description for the item as well. So you can go ahead and obviously use those. Now if I, if I quickly show you the comments option here, as you can see this is the comments built into the theme, so this is just your WordPress comments box. And if I go ahead to back to my admin account, um, on the right hand side just click on show Amazon comments. Any comments that were available for this product will be seen under the comments tab. Now, as you can see, obviously, there's no comments there, which obviously means there are no comments, and we can confirm that by viewing the actual product in Amazon. If I scroll down to the bottom, as you can see now, there's no com customer comments there. So, if we do a, a quick test um, import for a product that might have comments, so back to Amazon again, let's try something like a handbag. Okay, if we view the item this time before we import it, so we know that it's got a comment available. Okay, so there's quite a few comments there. Okay, if we go ahead and import it. Now, one thing to notice, you'll notice sometimes the ad list price and, and the, uh, the price available on Amazon is slightly different. If you notice, the API price here is 60, but the list price on the website is 30. Now, that's actually because Amazon often run... Um, offers and um, special special purchase items etc now the list price is the only offer the only price that Amazon actually display on their API so some of the items may appear um, to be out of sync but it's actually because the actual price available on the API is the only price available that we can import so we can't actually find the actual um, offer price um, until it's available in the API so the price here is the price that um, Amazon provides to you as a, a, a an API user um, but the price on the website might be slightly different at the time because they're running some sort of offer, etc. Okay, so if we go ahead and just import this, so we click on save, go back to our website and have a look at the product. Just give it a moment. All right, let's do a search. See if we can find the bag. There we go, sixty dollars. View more details. Okay, as you can see again, all of the product information is there. Now, if we click on the comments tab, you can see the Amazon comments are all here as well. So that's the only way, unfortunately, Amazon allow you to use the comments at the moment. They used to be able to import them directly, um, but now they only allow them to use um, an iframe import. So that's the uh, the way there they will be displayed there. So that's very basic, um, the Amazon import tool using the Amazon features and the new responsive framework.